Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, giving you the morning call for July 5th, 2011. We want you to be aware of a couple of things uh, as you look at your investments going forward. Many people assume, indeed some people call this a bedrock assumption, that the Chinese economy is going to grow and grow and grow and grow into the mightiest force of economic might in the history of the known world. In fact, as we pointed out to you about eight or nine days ago, uh, until about eight or nine days ago, China had been the largest market for luxury vehicles in the world. By that I mean luxury vehicles, BMWs, Mercedes, Lamborghini, all that kind of thing. About seven or eight days ago, a report came that uh, that luxury car buying had come to a halt. Now, what that means is, and this means the same thing all around the world, and I'm a car guy. When car guys stop buying cars, stuff is going wrong. Now, I'm not going to recapitulate the whole ghost city made up fake economy stuff that I've gone over many times. Um, but I do want you to think about this. On Friday, <clears throat> it was announced that manufacturing activity in China had come to its lowest level in two and a half years. Now, I want to remind you of something fundamental. If the Chinese can't sell stuff to us, they can't make money. We're not buying stuff. Or when we're buying stuff, we're buying higher quality stuff that's not made in China. So I wish to point out to you that uh, if these reports are true, and given the level of lying the Chinese government usually employs about its economy, you can bet things are worse off than the reports indicate. You know, we could be in for a protracted period of difficulty uh, in the Chinese markets, which will spill over to things like commodities. So while gold is trading above 1500 and we keep our gold view intact, we want you to be really thinking, I want you to be really thinking about your other commodity positions and things like iron and copper, silver, things like that. Uh, those kinds of things could have a dramatic downdraft with very little warning or the warning having already been received through economic reports. So we want you to also keep in mind that as we look into the election season, uh, we expect and we've already seen uh, some wording coming out of Washington that starts talking about revenue enhancers and things uh, rather than tax increases. I think that there is definitely going to be a deal worked out between the Republicans and the Democrats with the Tea Party people being left on the side fulminating. Frankly, can't think of a better place for them to be. Uh, I also think that their strategists are getting kind of nervous because it could be that like most uh, rabid fringe elements, the uh, uh, Tea Party runs the risk of being like, as it were, the Nova and flashing onto the screen and flashing off. Because no Tea Party people want to see a decrease in government entitlements. That's the confusing fact for many uh, uh, Tea Party elected officials. They think they can have their cake and eat it too, and they can't. This is Arnie Waters, aim for the ice flows. Have a great week if you're on holiday. Keep swinging. Thanks.